to begin to warm up. And uh, the house is already warm here inside Palo San Jordi. It has been the hottest day of the Olympiac Olympics so far here in Barcelona. And uh, since you can't see him, I'll tell you that Peter Vidmar has stripped out of his coat and tie <laughs> and put on his Hawaiian Aloha shirt to get into the mood for the evening. Our <laughs> final evening, it is a festive evening it here. It is, because we're going to see some flashy gymnastics, and so I have to let my shirt match the level of performances tonight. I'm not sure anyone can be that bright. Yeah, I don't know. Wait till you see these performances. I'm excited. In fact, I think one of the most interesting things about this uh, group here is that uh, a lot of these guys held back in the team and individual all-around competitions. We didn't see the big tricks, like the triple back flips. We're, we're looking at Masutin, by the way, and this is Becker. Go ahead. Sorry. And uh, I'm curious to see if both of the Chinese gymnasts, uh, Li Xiaoshuang and uh, uh, Li Chung Yang, will do their triples. They did them before in Paris, and uh, I'd like to see them. I'm real excited about it, so we'll see what happens here. How many men can really do a triple, and how, how big a leap is it from a double to a triple? Well, the guy sitting on your left cannot do a triple. <laughs> There's no way I ever could do one. Even with that Hawaiian shirt on? <laughs> no, even with the shirt on. So, <laughs> and, uh, uh, but, uh, no, it's just, um, this has uh, been a result of a lot of different things. Is that it's not only the improvement of equipment, even though this floor, we've already said earlier, is, uh, is subpar, but it's just that uh, it's once someone knows something can be done, then everybody does it. It's just like uh, how many people broke the four-minute mile barrier after Roger Bannister did. Many, many of them did. All right, let's take a look again at the field uh, and talk about them individually a little bit, Peter. In the men's well, event final on floor, the first of six. Well, as is the case in all of the apparatus finals, we have uh, members of the unified team, two members on every event. We have Gregorio Masutin, Vitaly Sherba. Sherba does a very excellent double-double laid out on floor. Li Chung Yang and Li Xiaoshuang both do triples on floor, but we'll see if they do them today. Uh, Yukio Iketani of Japan and Yutaka Aihara, his father, former Olympic champion. And uh, from Germany, Andres Wecker, who had a fantastic all-around competition, was fourth all-around and almost won the bronze medal. And uh, Yu Okru of, of Korea is a very powerful floor man. I mean, he's right up there with the rest of the guys here. So this field is packed full of power and explosiveness and talent. It would be uh, fascinating to see the number six competitor coming out tonight, Yutaka Aihara, win the gold. His father won the gold medal in the 60 games in Rome on the floor. And that would be... Uh, Awfully exciting, but it's going to be tough with this field. They continue to warm up here. Uh, Vitaly Sherba has the finest record of the group coming in. In 91, he was the silver medalist in the world championships, and in 92, he was the silver medalist in the individual. This is Sherba right here uh, in the individual apparatus world championships in April in Paris. The man who won the gold medal in 91 and 92, Igor Korobchinsky, couldn't even qualify off his own team, the <laughs> unified team, to be in this event. No, he couldn't uh, because uh, there's just so much talent in the unified team. And, and the rule of two per country does hurt the top teams. There's no question about it. There were other members of the unified team that were equally capable of competing and uh, possibly winning here on floor. But because of this rule, they're the ones that are hurt. And the ones that are ranked farther down are the ones that really help from a rule like this. In fact, uh, we just he saw just the, the tri first triple. And he over-rotated it. There was room for more. In fact, I can see his fellow competitors uh, actually applauding the triple because they know how difficult it is and they have a lot of respect for that skill. The highest scores on the floor in the competition so far, two men got a 9-9 nine, nine in the team optionals, and that was Masutin, Grigory Masutin of the unified team, and his teammate Vitaly Sherba. Uh, Masutin will be second up. Sherba has the... I would presume you'd call it an advantage tonight, Peter, being last.